Hey guys, I'm Morgan with UniqueSquare.com. We are here in Asheville, North Carolina at the Moog factory. Jim DeBarty is going to show us how they test and calibrate the machines before they send them out. So after going through the initial build process, uh, everything that has been done to the instrument up to this point has just been a physical, mechanical build. We've just been uh, putting the pieces together. Now we need to actually go in and calibrate the circuit uh, where we go in uh, to the instrument and Essentially, we're tuning up uh, the analog circuit and really breathing life into the synthesizer. In this room, you can see that our calibration technician has a number of different uh, measuring devices uh, all on display. There's an oscilloscope that gives a visual representation of voltage and, in this case, sound as well. There's a multimeter that gives a numerical representation. Uh, the computer screen is uh, displaying all of the uh, MIDI data that is going into and coming out of the synthesizer so that we can ensure that we're getting uh, the correct information and the correct values of information from every part of the instrument. Um, and we even have a few uh, custom-made measuring devices uh, that our engineers designed here in the factory because there don't exist a lot of uh, measuring devices in production for some of the specific needs that we have. So we actually have to go in and uh, custom design certain pieces to be able to perform the very specific tests that we need to run on these instruments. The first thing that happens is our technicians will open up the back panel, expose the circuit board, and connect all of these different measuring devices directly to the circuit board. And at that point, they have uh, a complete sort of visual readout of everything that's going on inside the circuit. Uh, from this point, they'll begin the calibration process on a mini Moog synthesizer. There are 30 different calibration points. Each one of them needs to be adjusted accurately down to the millivolt for everything to be working perfectly. Uh, and at this point, once all of that has been done, technically everything should be running perfectly. We should be able to box up the instrument, uh, put it on a truck, send it out to our customers. Uh, but for us here in the factory, that's not quite enough. Just because everything looks good on paper uh, doesn't mean that the experience will be exactly correct every time. The human brain and the human ear are very sophisticated measuring devices, and the relationship that, uh, that exists between a player and the instrument is a very symbiotic, very close personal relationship, and we want to ensure that that experience is perfect every time. Uh, so here in the factory, once we've finished all of our calibrations, we do what's called a final check. Our calibration technicians are trained to know how every knob should feel, how every key should react, what every waveform should look like and sound like, and they literally will go through top to bottom, perform every function that this instrument was designed to do uh, to ensure that that experience is correct. The entire process uh, from calibration to final check takes about two hours for a mini Moog synthesizer and we do it to every single one that leaves the factory. We don't just spot check the fifth one off the line. Uh, every instrument that leaves this building will have a full top to bottom final check uh, with a human being to ensure that you know from the smallest detail uh, everything is precisely perfect.